Hey guys, this is What If here, and welcome to SRX The Game Championship Mode. I did one video of this before when the game first came out, and I was contemplating whether to do a career mode or not, and I actually did get the likes I needed to, which was 200, but after looking at videos and stuff online, the career mode just really didn't entice me, and I'm so burnt out on doing career modes uh, as I'm recording, as I did just finish up NASCAR 15 uh, a little bit ago, so I'm just a little burnt out, but small series and stuff like that i i could definitely uh you know you know dabble into that so with championship mode we're gonna mirror the real life schedule this may be a once a week series or something like that to match the the races that'll be on that week so i guess that'll be kind of neat so with it only being six races that's not going to be too long it's a little, little mini series but as I'm recording this, the game had an update on June 8th, and it had the the logo changed. Now it's this, which is interesting. That's all I have to say. So he, we're going to do the, the regulation, which is the six races at Stafford, Knoxville, Dora, Lucas Oil, which is IRP, Slinger, and Nashville. So uh, with the update, it added more things. So that's always cool. But I want to stick with the, the real-life uh, tracks that they're going to be doing in, the, in reality. So... Um, we're just going to go with ourselves because we are a superstar. I feel like that's a good way to, to, to really inflate my ego. So I'll show you the settings here because that's going to be the most important thing to make this series competitive for the most part. So this is what we have. Difficulties on custom. So the custom difficulty is at 100. I think for races 3 on up we'll go to 101. But 100 is going to be the... Uh, ideal length for the, or at least difficulty for the first two because it's just on that cusp of being doable but not impossible because the expert difficulty is completely broken not expert uh legend is completely broken so uh we're gonna go with tire wear and fuel consumption on less because the ai tire wear doesn't, doesn't really have much fall off so with less it'll balance that out a little bit uh strict yellows and here's we're gonna have the stability to more stable for the ai Tire wear for the AI are going to be normal. The incident frequency is going to be less frequent, so they don't wreck, because every time when I was doing uh, stuff off camera, they would always wreck, so that should fix a lot of that of those issues and everything else. So, yeah, also 100% race length, so this is going to be kind of girthy episodes for the most part, so, yeah. It's going to be interesting to see how this all plays out and just to see what we can do. So, we got Stafford, and with all that said, and kind of the rules of what's going to be going on for the most part. Uh, let's just just, yeah, just jump straight into it. So with this, uh, we're going to go with the uh, the standard car setup. Not I guess the slider. It's on 12% loose. This will help us be a little more competitive on the, the long run because with these races, there is no pit stops. So yeah, we're going to have to really kind of manage the tires and make sure they last. So I don't want to make it too loose or anything. But yeah, this it's going to be tough. So, uh, we'll just jump straight into the race. The grid order is random, so it'll all depend on where we place, where they make a start. And it's second, which is not bad. We, From what I was doing here at this track, we get good launches off the start. So, we can maybe cheese the lead for a little bit, which is what I would like to see. We get through the gears pretty nicely, and there we go, into the lead. Now... From everything I was doing, I'll put this off camera. It seems like Tony Stewart and Bobby Labonte are the top, like top two to worry about. So I will keep my focus on them. But for now, the Stewart is okay. He's third, about to pass Walter. So we are gonna have to go into to mega sweat mode here. Stewart gets by Walter, so now it just means Stewart, which is gonna be really tough. Because for everything I've done, it just seems like he's faster. The only shot we have of even coming close to a win is just that lap traffic plays a factor or we have a late race yellow. So that's really all our strategy is going to be. With the, the heats being this long, each one is going to be very, very important because each, all these points carry over. If there's no playoffs, no anything like that, just six races got to be the highest. So... For the heats, it's pretty simple with the points. It's just uh, first two. Uh, if you get first, you get 12, uh, 12 points. And then second place is 11, and so on and so forth. And the last one, I believe, is where it's like 25, 22, or something like that. I'm not 
100% sure. But yeah. But for now, we're holding our own. Uh, Stuart kind of messed up the corner, but yeah, we gotta be on our toes. So I am just gonna focus for a little bit. Here goes Stuart to the inside. I tried. And, okay, he's gonna drift up the track. I, I tried. It, oh, oh, wait, wait. Okay, never mind. I tried. I, I don't know what it is. He, I think he just has like maybe about a tenth or so on me in terms of speed. Also, hello, Bill Elliott. So, yeah. I mean, we should be able to get second spot back here. At least, you know, clear him eventually. We do have lap traffic that's going to start to play a factor. Now, that could help us. Or it may not. I don't know. But we're going to wait and see on that. <laughs> he tried. I respect it, Bill, but it's going to be a lot harder to get by me than that. I mean, this sucks. I mean, I'm just constantly losing time to store it. It seems like he's getting around lap traffic pretty easily. And even, I mean, we're getting around lap traffic without a problem either, but I was hoping maybe they would hold up Bill Elliott. Oh, my sweet G. Uh, car. L Elliott, hi. Um. What the fuck? Alright, amazingly, that didn't give me any damage. I'm kind of surprised by that. I'm surprised there wasn't a yellow, but that, um. Yeah, that, uh, that really screwed him up. Well, good for him. Okay, if you can kind of see him up there. He's finally, finally starting to have trouble getting around lap trap. He's trying to pass him on the outside, which is killing him. And I think he's going to get by him here fully. But yeah, it was like two or three tenths that, he, that we were able to gain on him there. And now it's going to go away. You can even see it up there. Stuart looks like he's having trouble getting around lap cars again. He's just trying to pass him on the outside, so we're gaining time. Also, Elliot's finally caught me, so maybe he'll actually pass me smartly. And not just send it into the corner and then drift all the way up into the, you know, almost put me in the wall, so. That would be nice. Yeah, we're closing in. Uh, for the time being. So that's nice. But yeah, it, we don't really have anything for him. It, it's just, Elliot, Elliot's trying. He's doing that NASCAR heat pokeage. I'm still amazed Stewart's still having trouble getting around that lap car. Like, he, he's lost about a second or so on. To, like, to me, so. Kind of shocking. Uh, still chilling in second, obviously. Bill Elliott's still trying. Poke his nose in there. I'm surprised Bobby Labonte is nowhere to be found. Usually he's always running up front, or at least in the top four, so. Kind of surprised by that. But also, I really don't want to lose the spot because if I do, then Mr. Doug Kobe is going to get by me. I think Stewart finally, <laughs> finally got by the lap traffic, which took him multiple minutes and almost two seconds of time loss, but yeah. The heat's almost over. We should be able to keep second here. Mike Black in the heat. So another thing to keep note is when these heats end, or at least the first one ends, they invert the field. So it means Stuart are going to be starting 12th and 11th. So that'll be interesting. I don't think it's going to change anything too much. We might be able to get the lead. But we got to be careful and not get damaged because that carries over throughout the whole thing. So, yeah. But that was a pretty solid first heat seems like second is really all we're going to be able to do, or maybe fourth. But I like to get second if I can help it. After my little drink break, we're starting on the inside line, which is good. We should be able to get a good launch off the start. And we do. And we just gotta, at least for now, just put up a gap as much as we can over Stuart. And hope that works. I mean, I feel like it's just inevitable that it's not going to last, but... Again, we gotta be fast, but we gotta be careful uh, getting through the field. So we're kind of stuck at the moment. But because these are 15 minutes, it's... Uh, I mean, we definitely got plenty of time to get up there. And I was doing like a 25% race and stuff off camera. Just getting used to the game and everything. I remember that being really tough. Because I think those are like three and a half minutes. So those are pretty uh, pretty intense. But here's these are generally pretty chill. And also Stuart just... I'm, I'm just paving a way for Stuart to get up to the front. So that's kind of upsetting. That's not what I uh, intended, but there we go. Within the first minute, nearly, <laughs> we go from 11th to 1st. And I mess up the corner, and then I give Stuart the lead. So, well, that's just really sad. I thought I would at least hold it on for a little bit longer, but I couldn't even do that.
That was the worst couple of corners ever. <sighs> and we're just gonna give up second place to Elliot. That's unfortunate. Now, the only thing we can hope again is just lap traffic. I mean, it helped us a little bit last time, but we were, we were just too far back to capitalize, so. Uh, this, day, this heat might be similar to the first one, but finishing third, that's not, that's not fun. Well, finally, Stewart's getting caught in lap traffic, and he's trying to pass him on the high side, so good for us. We're actually able to close in somewhat, which is, which is you know, always nice. Bill Elliott's kind of pulling away from me. Not nearly as, like, demonstrably as, like, Stewart's doing, but, yeah, the fourth is about two seconds back. So we're just kind of chilling. We're just in our own little zone. I'm just, I'm just here in silence, just trying to match my lap times, though. I don't know. If, it's probably just me, but I'm just so inconsistent. It's just pitiful. I keep running 16.5s, but then sometimes I can run 16.3s, sometimes 16.2s. It's just way too inconsistent. And I just I just can't get a feel for it, so... Yeah, I'm not really good at this game. Stuart's gonna finally get around that lap car. But he has another one that's gonna be coming up, too, so... Uh, good for us. Uh, Elliot's closing in better than I am, so... Go Elliot. That's just more points that he can take away from Stewart, so the gap, like point lead gap, won't be nearly as big for him. I mean, that's what I would like, but yeah, okay, he got by him, so let's just hope. Uh oh, Stewart's getting caught in lap traffic again. I don't know why I made that into a song, but okay, nope, never mind, he got by him. I was just thinking of this. The only way, the only way I have a shot of winning this is if I get the lead and then just hold them off and block until we get to lap traffic and then maybe like like when he does get by me he won't be too far ahead of me so when that happens I can like reel him in because the lap car is getting in his way a lot of things are at the play in our favor to even have that happen but it, it is slightly possible Bye, Tony Kanon. That's yellow. Okay, well, that was weird. Well, the good thing is we're third. We barely have any laps left to go. We could cheese a win here. Didn't think that was going to be a possibility, but we could BS this. So let me just try to get a good start. All right, to the inside. We're going to bait. It's basically a green white checkered. Just keep the car at the bottom. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's doable. It's doable. Just gotta keep the car at the bottom. If he passed me up on the high side, I'm gonna be very upset. Oh my god, we're gonna have a good finish for this white flag for the heat. And... and we kinda have the spot. Oh, no. Oh god. God damn it. You know, just my... No. No. My second! I had it. If I was just smarter, I could have... It's okay. I need a drink! I just need a good launch off the start. Hold Stuart off for... I don't know how long, like five minutes before lap traffic occurs. We got 100 laps. We're in the lead, we're doing... We good. He might get held up... Oh, he's stuck on... He might stuck himself up on the high side, which... It's good for us. Nope, never mind. Alright, well... It's just now a blocking game. Hi, Stuart. Hi, Stuart. God. I tried. I was kind of amazed I lasted as long as I did. It's just... He's doing that NASCAR heat pokeage. Like, he gets off the corner. He's angling in the car. Like, pretty much entering the corner. Like, similar to how I am. Except he's just making it stick and gaining time. And it's very frustrating. Um... I don't like that. I like to get by Bill Elliott and maybe just chill, but yeah. Well, our plan didn't work, so GG Stuart on the win unless we get another like really weird yellow. It hurts. <laughs> it hurts. I just I don't have anything for them when they're that good. So we're making a pass, which I wasn't really expecting, but Stuart's about to hit lap traffic, and we're not like five seconds back, so, I mean, if he gets them at the wrong time, we might be able to do something, but 
keyword is might. And the story gets by without a problem, so. Alright, well that was that was uneventful. Looks like Stuart's finally having some trouble with lap traffic. It's very unfortunate. I wish I could have kept him behind me a little bit longer. So when that did occur, we would be a little bit closer to him. Because, again, we're just way too far back to do anything with that. Unless, you know, this other car that's, like, going lap down 10th catches 9th. And Stuart kind of gets blocked from, like, both, like, the top and bottom lane. Maybe that could happen, but it doesn't really seem likely. And he got by him, so... Yeah, never mind. This game really bugs me. <laughs> Mr. Mr. Doug Kobe, I don't know who you are, but you just did a NASCAR heat thing. Welcome to that universe. We're about to lose third, too, which I, I do not like at all. It looks like I'm gonna have to accept it. Because the AI pokage continues on in these games. What the fuck is that? <laughs> Bill Elliott. You scrub, why? Why? <laughs> Alright. Alright, sure. I need a drink. This does put us in another good favorable position. Bill Elliott has damage, but I don't know if the AI actually have damage that like carries over or it actually affects them. But we can get a good launch off the start. At least try to. That's just a casual... Very casual three wide. Can I at least... Uh, it's gonna be close. Dive on it. Uh, he's stuck on the high side. Ooh, okay. Now, we can we can maybe try to do this again with lap traffic. Or at least you know, try to hold on lean until we get to lap traffic. Stuart's gonna get stuck on the high side here. So, this is technically our best shot to win this race. So, I'm gonna go. Just run away. Tony Stewart is getting cucked out of, the, out of the win by Bill Elliott. I mean, he's not even in the top five anymore. He is absolutely choked. Or I guess he's just still stuck on the high side, but he is getting absolutely destroyed. And I know we're faster than Castro Neves, and we are building up a gap, so... This is looking good. I'm just going to shut up and focus as I fuck up the corner. Good news is we're pulling away from Castro Neves just a little bit. Bad news is Tony Stewart is in the top five, and I'm sure he is going to fly through the field like butter. Tony Stewart has uh, systematically uh, moved up to the field, and he's about, to, or actually he's in third, where Bill Elliott's actually been closing in on me. But the good thing is we have lap traffic here that could play a factor, could affect them, and we still got more than like, or at least almost more than half the race left, or at least a little bit more, but a little bit, a little bit less than halfway through the race, so. I, again, I think we're going to lose the lead at some point, but it all depends on how long we can kind of hold it before we get to lap cars, which once they maybe start having problems, then we can maybe try to close in. This is definitely our best opportunity to, to win the race, and that's going to be kind of <laughs> kind of baloney because we clearly haven't been the fastest. I'm going to shop and focus because Bill Elliott is trying to poke his nose in there. Okay. Well, I tried. We lasted for a quite... Bill Elliott, what is wrong with you? What What is wrong with you? you you're like, you're being like your son before 2018. Just completely choking. Now I got damage, and I don't know how much that's going to affect me. But wow. I mean, what an absolute scrub. He was going to take the lead. He was going to maybe win the race, but no. He decided to be uh, Mr. Forky and be trash. And Stuart's going to get stuck on the high side again, so... Good for us. Let's just try to pull away. Oh boy, yeah, that tightness. That, uh... Yeah, a little bit of aero damage. Yeah, that uh, that has made it a bit tighter. It just, it just didn't like to turn the corner. Now we got Mr. Kobe leading. I don't know who he is, but he doing the impossible and showing up. And to no shock, Stuart gets by me. That's, that really sucks. I don't know why the AI just wreck in front of you like that. It's just, it's stupid. Is that their way of showing us that, hey, that, that we don't have caution replays, but we'll just have a wreck, like, script out right in front of you. 
That's happened twice now. Well, if this tells me anything, then uh, it tells me that I really don't... I really... I'm not going to be playing these games anymore. I mean, I played the first one. I skipped the second one. This third one seemed interesting. Just because of the SRX series. But yeah, after that, I'm definitely not going to buy these games again. It's just the same scripted AI hovering bullshit. If anyone hasn't seen Austin Ogonoski's video of the AI, like, hovering... Definitely check that out because it's really bad. I mean, it's a good video, but it just shows how bad the game is with, like, some of the way the, the AI run. It's still really bad and just sad. And it rhymed. Here goes Stuart for the lead. We might be able to get to Kobe. I'm not sure, but we have to worry about Elliot, who's behind us. So. I was going to say at the end of the second heat, when we were just chilling, Kobe was actually slowly starting to catch me, so it seemed like on the long run... Uh, his car comes to life, so interesting in that regard, so I don't know, but yeah, we just gotta pray lap traffic screws up Stuart. I mean, that's really all we can hope for. Oh, there goes Bill Elliott. Is he gonna script himself into spinning out in front of me again, or what? what's gonna happen? No, I'm shocked. He actually passed me. Well, it, it took him... Also, what's really, really defeating is, I guess the AI just don't have the same damage as you. Like, Bill Elliott has spun out and hit something twice. He's, his car should be, like, fucked beyond belief at this point. Yeah, I barely have aero damage, and it's, it's affected my, the, like, the performance of my car, and yet... It's just, it's just the same shit. It's just the same dumb shit where, you know, like, the AI play on different rules for me, when it's so fucking blatantly obvious. It's just, it's just, it's not fun when it does that. Even, I was just thinking this too, even if Bill Elliott had damage, not damage, but even if he didn't, his tires should be, like, destroyed. There's no pitting, so him just spinning out twice like that should have just burnt the tires up to all hell, and he shouldn't even really, I mean, he should definitely have lost a lot of his pace, but it didn't, I don't, do I, do I need to, I, do I need to Google, I, I need to Google map chart to, Google map, what Google frickin' a uh, Google doc sheet of what track combinations to have the sliders at per track to get the best optimal results. I guess that's what I gotta do. Remember when you just played a game, you know, and then that's it. That was that was fun. Not now you have to worry about twenty different fucking sliders to adjust to have it be competent. Cause I'm sure there's a way to fix it, but I, I didn't spend enough time, and I never will. Well, it's cute. Stuart's getting stuck behind lap traffic. Doug Kobe is kind of catching him, but again, I don't think it's going to be enough time. So, wishful thinking, but it looks like Stuart's going to win in his own <laughs> in his own series. What a tryhard. What an absolute tryhard. Stuart better hurry up, because uh, Mr. Doug Kobe is closing in. So, we may have some interesting uh we, we may get a surprise winner here if Stuart keeps choking like this yeah because kobe's closing i mean we're not gonna really have a shot in the win but at least we're gonna kind of see it which is always nice yeah he's just still stuck on the high side go kobe i don't i don't know who he is but i like for him to show up and steal the win we're kind of closing in on Stuart, but it's just not enough time obviously so where is kobe at no, he's still, Stuart's still trying to throw it away. Hey, at least we have an interesting race up there. At least we got that. Uh, oh, oh, he tried. It looked like he tried to send it on him. I, I respect it. I don't know who the hell Doug Kobe is, but he is trying. Oh, oh, he tried. Oh, oh, what a shame. He, I mean, he absolutely sent it. All right, well, Stuart win. One. Okay. I'll take fourth. I, I mean... Ugh, that was frustrating. I don't even know what to say. Bill Elliott snuckered in. I thought, okay, well that's, alright. I don't even have words. Also, where did the total time race length go? It's, it was there before the patch, and now it's not. Well, that's, that's a little, a little sussy. Did we run 226 laps? With the heats? Is that what the game's telling me? Because, good god. <laughs> 
This is just infuriating because Bill Elliott spins like, you know, trash. He's his ass. Look at his ass. What it is it is battered. But yet he's just as fast as he was before. That's such poopy doopy snoopy. I hate I hate this game. It bugs me. Well, um obviously we're not gonna be the uh, point leader. I'm sure post editor would have can throw in like laps led for the final uh Stint to the race for those last hundred laps. Just out of curiosity, sake, because I think I probably had the second highest laps led. I don't know. Just just to do something, because the game doesn't track that. So why the hell not? But we'll look at the points here. Obviously, Stuart's gonna probably be leading that. But by how much is the question? Because we did do good in the first two heats, and it is okay. Nine points. And yeah. Well, hold on. Wait. Okay. Let's look at this. Okay, we're. Okay, we're tied for second with Bill Elliott, Doug Kobe third or fourth. And, yeah, Stuart has a nine-point gap over us. That's kind of hefty in this series, considering how well he usually runs. I mean, that already puts us in a very gigantic hole right off the bat, so that is not ideal. So with Stafford out of the way, we got Knoxville, which is going to be uh, probably just as tough as the first one, except we're going to probably use a custom setup where we're just going to mainly adjust the... The fourth gear in the rear end ratio, just because it will give us a bit more top end speed and it'll make us a little bit sportier, sportier. So that'll be interesting. But Stuart's AI is so insanely OP. I feel like a second place is all we might be able to get out of there. But uh, with that said, we just have to kind of minimize the damage and just try to finish as best as we can. Because I think when we get to Eldora, uh, Lucas Oil, and the rest of them, we sh or at least. Uh, at least three of them, Eldora, Lucas Oil, and Slinger. We should be good to potentially win and gain some points on store. And then Nashville is probably going to be our toughest one. So it's going to be interesting because already Stuart has a, a gigantic lead for all intents and purposes. So that's, um, I'm worried. But for now, we can wrap up this part. Big shout out to my tier three Patreon supporters, the Dale Reynolds, Weather Bros, Comic Casa Games, Ryan Lazar, and David and Chef 15, Nask Gunner Site, Dot Org, Billy Carrier, Golf Gear 100, Denny Hammer, Alter Pain, Emily Bebster, Mark Harmon, Mexican Lang 1986, and George Vargas for a donation again. I can't thank guys enough for contribution and support the channel every single month like this. It does mean a lot, and I'm always really thankful you guys do what you do. And also welcome Mr. George Vargas to the Elite Tier 3 Patreon Club. I th thank you, I appreciate that. Sorry it's been it's taken me so long to have a video where I get to shout you out, but here we are. Hi. I'll see you all next episode for Knoxville, and that should be interesting, so. Yeah, and we'll see if Bill Elliott continues to be a meme and just choke in the series, apparently. I guess that's what he's, I guess that's what his role is, unfortunately, so. Yeah. Either way, that'll do it for me. I'll see you all next episode, and I'll see you all later, and as always, have a good day, everyone.